Hello everyone, welcome back, here's Van Amsen. Today we are diving into an incredibly interesting coding problem, the candy distribution problem. It's a problem that not only tests your coding skill, but also your problem solving ability. So trust me, by the end of this video, you won't look at the candies uh, the same way ever again. So let's jump right in. Uh, imagine you are a teacher and you got a line of students with different rating. And your task is to distribute candies to these students. But here's the catch. Students with the higher rating should get more candies than their neighbors. So the aim is to find the minimum number of candies you will uh, need. And also each uh, child must have at least one candy. Uh, so before we dive into the code, let's look at uh, some uh, examples. So given rating as false, so it will be one, zero, two. So every uh, child needs to have uh, at least, so candies, at least one candy. But uh, now uh, students with rating two need to have more than uh, with rating a zero. So let's make it two uh, instead of one. And also here, student with rating one need to have more than student with rating zero. So we also need to make it two instead of one. So our total sum of candies will be five. And five is our uh, output. So two to this student, one to this, and two uh, here. So output is five, uh, as mentioned. And this is our uh, first example. And uh, I hope now you understand the logic. So uh, let's go with uh, implementation in Python. So the first thing we need to do is initialize a list of candies uh, with each element set to one. Why? Because each child must have at least one uh, candy. So let's implement it right away. So n will be len rating and candies one times n. Okay, so now uh, let's iterate through the rating array to update the candies list. And first we will go through left to right, then right to left, and this to pass approach, and sure we meet uh, the uh, condition. So for i in range one to n, if rating i uh, greater than i minus one, candies, candies i minus one plus one. And for i in range n two minus minus, if rating greater rating plus one. And candies will be max of candies i and candies i plus one. So, uh, and finally, uh, we just, uh, what do we do? Sum up the candies list to get our uh, answer and return it. So here, return sum of candies, as easy as this. So uh, what is the logic and intuition behind the solution? So why does it work? Well, the first loop ensure that higher rated child have more candies than the child on their left. And the second loop does the same, but checks the child on the right. So the max function ensure that we don't reduce the number of candies for any child by doing uh, it uh, from right uh, to left. So before uh, we move on, let's uh, talk about uh, the time complexity of this solution. So we are uh, iterating through the list twice. So making our time complexity of O and so uh, linear and since we are using a separate list to keep track of the candies, the space complexity is also O uh, and uh, time complexity. So linear. So now uh, let's, let's run it and verify it's working for this uh, test cases. So we've done this one. So one, zero, two output five, all good. Now we can submit our implementation uh, to verify it's working. So yeah, I have submitted it 
And as you can see, we beat 60% with respect to uh, runtime and also 68% with respect to uh, memory. So uh, if you are not a Python user, don't worry. Uh, I got uh, implementation in uh, Go, Rust, C++, and much more in the description uh, link below. And also we can reassure uh, everything is uh, yeah, working perfect. So as you can see, every run is a bit different. In the second uh, run, we have uh, 139 milliseconds, uh, beating 80%. So uh, there is also a possibility to solve it with one pass and for Python it's quite efficient, beating even 99% of uh, runtimes. So I will uh, dive in one pass solution in next video. And so there you have it, a deep dive into candy distribution problem. Uh, so it's a fantastic problem that makes you think uh, in a different dimension. So if you got any question, uh, please, uh, yeah, write them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more awesome uh, coding content, uh, machine learning uh, tutorials and challenges and much more. And remember coding isn't just about solving problems. It's uh, about growing your understanding of algorithmic uh, thinking. And this uh, solution uh, and challenges make it possible. So keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.